Mail time in the garage has been a bit. Check this out. I've been doing some mods on the K40. I have an adjustable bed in here now. Man, oh man, does that work nice. We got this thing dialed in. Uh, I don't think the video is even published on this because uh, I haven't made one yet. But I put the uh, thermometer, another thermometer in, which has my flow meter in the back or flow indicator. And then um, uh, my current meter, which is the biggest change I've made. I found out why this laser doesn't work right. It, uh, above 60% on the laser just cuts out. And uh, I always wondered what each power level was. Well, now I know. And we're going to do a mailbag. Okay, before we get into it, check this stuff out. This didn't come in the mail. I found this at my local dollar store. Pretty cool. Um, six pack of three millimeter wood planks, or what looks like three millimeter. I'm pretty sure that's three mil thick. And uh, some long skinny ones too. Two bucks a shot. That's actually pretty reasonable in my experience so far. Buying wood for this laser cutter is just brutal. And I just found these in the craft section. Foam sheets, 50 of them. These are kind of neat. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I think they'll laser well. And I don't know whether I want dividers for things or... I have no idea, but it seems like a neat material to have in stock. This arrived, this was in transit forever in a day. This is something that I've always needed but been too cheap to buy, even back when I was in the trade. This is a flywheel holder, or clutch holder, uh, rotating thing holder. This can be used for different brands and different sizes. Oh, they welded that. Buggers. Well. I can modify that. You cut that weld, you could take that out and you could put whatever size of pin you want. But long story short, this goes into two holes in a rotating assembly, usually a clutch housing or whatever on small engines. And this allows you to hold it, which is pretty damn handy. And not an easy thing to make on the fly when you need one, I've done it many times, but having an adjustable one is pretty cool. Okay, next up, a whole bag of these. These are air filters for, I believe this is for Briggs uh, lawnmower style, but it doesn't matter what they're for. I can cut these down and make them for uh, small two cycles like weed eaters and chainsaws and stuff. And it's really good to have these in stock. It's something that's hard to go and get in a pandemic or whatever. And when you can buy them uh, slow boated like I did. Those I ordered way back before the pandemic, so they took a long time. A lot of the stuff was sat in customs for a very, very long time. So th this this will give you, if you've been following my channels for a while, these are base gaskets for uh, small Walboro style carburetors. And uh, I ordered these at the same time, uh, I made the video on how to cut gaskets on the K40 because I knew these were going to take forever to get here and they were stupid expensive from any local source, like two bucks a piece. So those were in transit for well over half a year, which is pretty crazy, but that's what happens. That's why we order this stuff very slow and then we order it when we don't need it before we need it. And when it gets here, we're ready. Uh, two different bit sets. These are Torx bits, a complete set, which I use with this dirt cheap. <laughs> These are the ones that I got for two bucks at Walmart and I bought like five of them when they were on clearance. I love this thing. And we can now have our Torx drivers for that, which is pretty cool. I just keep everything up on the bench over here and all the different drivers and sizes and whatever. But um, an extra long Torx is kind of a handy thing to have. So, um, and it looks like I got a spare set. So I'll take a set in the house. Pretty cool. More primer bulbs. These kind of feel like crap. These feel very, no, yeah, no, they're all right. So they're just clear gas primer bulbs, two different sizes. Uh, Quite often uh, from overseas supply, you'll find there's sets of two different sizes. And this is one of them, great big ones and small ones. And as you've seen on this channel before, I have all kinds of these, but that's the number one failure other than the diaphragms on carburetors is the, the primer bulb splitting. 
And these, uh, these I ordered kind of on a lark. These are complete fuel line setups that go right through the carburetor, or through the fuel tank. And this bung here, this seal, is quite often what I've seen fail. They split, or they leak, or they weep. And it's kind of a shittacular design. The, having just the line go through the tank is way, way simpler and way better. But um, some of the steel stuff uses this style. And this comes with the pickup and everything. So a whole, whole raft of them. More than I'll ever need in my lifetime. So someone will get all this stuff when I'm long gone. Okay, more primer bulbs. These are kind of a specialty primer bulb. I think these are also for uh, Briggs lawnmowers. I think this is the air pump um, primer, I think, because it looks like weird with this plastic piece. I've never had to replace one because these uh, actually just pressurize the um, if it is one of the ones for the Briggs, which I think it is, they just pressurize the float bowl and then the, f the fuel is pushed up through the main discharge jet on the carburetor. And these don't tend to fail in my experience, but uh, looks like I ordered some. <laughs> I, I, I've never replaced one, but it uh, looks like I must have saw them on a, on a related uh, eBay listing or something and decided that might be handy. These are indeed handy. These are roll pins. Uh, I got two different assortments. At, uh, remember, it was just a couple of bucks a piece for them. And these things are exorbitantly expensive to buy locally and a pain in the ass to get. Like you gotta go rummage around at TSE. Our local TSE here is horribly stocked and very poorly maintained. So everything's kind of just thrown in junk shelves. Uh, good luck even finding these. Canadian entire same difference here. Uh, a little bit better, but you'd pay like, for one of these little roll pins, you'd pay several dollars. So now yeah, I have two complete kits. They, they comes up from time to time, um, especially when you take one out and lose it. That happens, unfortunately. Okay, these are complete tune-up sets. Same, yeah, so same deal. This is definitely, so that was for Briggs. I, I recognize this now because this is a complete tune-up set. Same filter, same kind of, kind of filter idea, but uh, also comes with the gasket set, which is super cool. And one of those is, that black one is actually a diaphragm. So that is a complete tune-up set for two lawnmowers. So yeah, neat. Definitely lots of stock and these, Super handy. I have wanted a set of these for a very, very long time. These are extra long Torx bits. Are they magnetic too? Oh, they are too. Extra, extra long. So these are really handy for uh, working on chainsaws and stuff. When you got to get down in the case, they're always Torx bits. Well, there you go. They're even tamper Torx. Look at that. They've got the hole in the bottom. In the trade, we called those tamper resistant Torx or tamper Torx. There's a, a pin that sticks up in the in the fastener and unless if your tool is flat on the end you can't can't remove the fastener it was the idea was like anti-theft and anti-tampering but it's kind of a joke because there you go these even come with it and that was a total surprise right off overseas so that's uh, that's our mailbag today we have all kinds of goodies that's everything cheers guys if you like this kind of stuff click a thumbs up and hope you guys stick around i look silly little projects here in the shop are a lot of fun for me and uh check out my main channel obviously it's uh, it's where i do most of my work uh, but uh happy to get back to things here cheers guys talk soon